Okay, so coming a little bit more towards the front of your mats to start your stretching. So from here, palms turn outwards. Gonna get you to take a breath in, just raising the arms up to the front. So inhale and feel that stretch up through the body. And exhale, feel the arms just relax down by the sides. Take a breath in again, raise the arms up, stretch through the entire body. And on your exhale, feel the arms just drop down to the front. So dropping the chin to the chest. If you take your feet slightly wider, body roll down, and just begin to try and get that stretch through the hamstrings. So drop your head here, relax the shoulders, and just visualize the hips lifting up towards the ceiling as you start to lengthen through the backs of your legs. So in your double hamstrings, you're also getting your lower back stretch. And then we're going to roll up from here. So knees bend slightly, body roll up through the spine, rolling back through the shoulders, and then taking your feet slightly closer together. So if you bend through your right knee, that's going to be your supporting knee, lift your left leg up, take a hold, knee points downwards, push forward through the hip, and just feel that stretch through the front thigh. So legs staying close together, knee pointing downwards, stretching through the quad. And once that one's released off, lightly letting go of the foot, dropping it down to the mat, soften through the knee, switching legs here, lift up, knee points downwards, and push it forward through the hip, hold it there. Okay, once that one's released off, start to relax it down, releasing off through the legs this time. Taking the feet quite close together, we're gonna to go back into your double hamstrings and come down onto your mat. So chin drops down to the chest, body roll down again, so you're loosening off the upper, mid, and lower back. Drop the head, and from here, bend your knees if you need to. Place the palms of your hands down onto the mat, and then just step back so you're coming onto hands and knees. So you're in a box position here. So if you line up the shoulder above the wrist, I'm gonna come into cat pose. So first thing I'm gonna get you to do is drop the head, arch through the spine, visualize it separating through the shoulder blades and just hold it here. Keep breathing. Feel a stretch through your upper back. And now we're gonna to move to, through to the opposite movement. So pelvis tilts outwards, roll down through the spine, Begin to look forward towards me, soften the elbows slightly here. So stretch it through your spine. And then from this position, we're gonna to come to neutral spine, which is between the two. So coming back to the center. And then moving into a spinal stretch. Take your knees a little bit further back here. Sit the hips down, fingertips reach forward, drop the head and feel a stretch through your entire back. So a really important stretch after you've done your cycling to really lengthen out the muscles through your back. So with this one, visualize your fingertips are reaching forward and your hips are pulling back. And then to come out of this one, just gradually come forward back into that box position again your hands back and from here turn to sit onto your mat so you're gonna to come towards the center of the mat and if you bring the soles of your feet together for this one hands wrap around the edge of the feet we're gonna bring the stretch to your hips and your inner thighs so taking a breath in and as you exhale just start to lean forward slightly so the elbows come wide keeping your back fairly straight here and only come forward as far as you need to to start feeling the stretch. And then just begin to release the pressure. 
pressure from the feet, rolling back to the center, and then crossing the ankles, whichever way is more comfortable for you. So moving on to your side stretches now to loosen off the side of the body. If you inhale your right arm to the ceiling, and on your exhale, taking it to a side stretch. So releasing off any tightness through the side of your body, fingertips reaching away. And then turn the palm up, sweep back, and opposite side. Sit nice and straight, inhale up. On your exhale, take it to a side stretch, fingertips reach away. upwards and releasing back okay from here we're going to move on to hamstrings so major muscle group uh, which may get tight through your cycling if we take your right leg and just extend your right leg forward heel down toe towards the ceiling the opposite sole of the foot is in towards the leg so again sit in as straight as you can here taking a breath in on your exhale just begin to forward bend so you're forward bending over your straight leg. Don't worry how low you can get. Don't worry if you can't reach the toes. Just take it down as far as is comfortable for you. So working with the breath, as you exhale, visualize your hip is extended back as your heel extends forward. Back stays as straight as you can. And just starting to feel that lengthening through your hamstrings. Each time you exhale, just feel this stretch deepen slightly as you begin to forward bend. So this is a really important stretch to do for injury prevention after you've been using your hamstrings a lot. And the more you work on this one, the lower you'll be able to get into your stretch. So we'll hold it for one more breath, taking a final inhale and deep exhale. And then just releasing and slowly coming back to the center. And then if we switch legs from here, opposite leg comes forward, sole of the foot comes in. Sitting up straight, take an in-breath. And on your exhale, just start to forward bend. So leaning forward, starting to feel that stretch through the hamstring. Also may get your lower back, if your lower back's a little bit tight from, from sitting on the bike. So you might get the lower back in this one also. So again, same thing, on your exhale, your hip is coming back, heel extends forward, as you start to lengthen out your hamstring. So we'll hold it for a couple more breaths. breath in, exhale, and release it from the foot, and just starting to come back to the center. Bring your legs back to a cross leg position now. So we're going to start to stretch through your ITVs. So if we take your right leg, if you lift up your right leg, and you take it over the left knee. Okay, taking a hold off the knee and taking a breath in here as you exhale just slightly begin to forward bend just very slightly now depending on how tight you are in this area is how far forward you'll need to go with this stretch okay and then from here we just come back to the center and switch sides same thing on the other leg. So crossing over. And then taking a hold and just starting to forward bend slightly. And just see how that feels for you in this leg that's crossed over the top as you forward bend. cross-legged position now, sitting straight through the back, shoulders relaxed, taking the arms to the front, interlock, 
Start to relax your spine, drop the chin to the chest, and just stretch it out through your upper back. Just hold this one for a couple of breaths. And then letting go. Finally bringing the fingertips behind. Interlock the fingers. Opening the chest. Stretching across through the front of the chest. And releasing the arms down. Try and keep nice and straight through the back. Okay, so we're just going to finish with two breaths in. So inhaling the hands come up above the head. stretch wide and final time taking a breath in to finish and exhale stretch wide and relax through the shoulders